statements. But <laughs> okay. And uh, if you expand it a little bit, you know, do you do the magnifying glass? Like this? Yeah. Okay. You can see where the crossover is, draw the line on that, on the stochastic. Here. Right there. No, on the marble board. Ah, here. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, where the first red bar is. Right there. Okay. Another vertical there. Yes. So down to the one hour. Okay. So that's the process. So we go to the, the four same. hour to the one hour. Okay. You can see one hour is ready. The one hour is ready. Why? Yeah, well, it's ready, right? I mean, the. 532 is uh, bearish. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The filter. Right. Okay, okay. So the filter. 15. Okay. And 15 is crossed, right? But it's in the middle of a two ball retrace. It's in the middle of two ball retrace. So, yes. so move the vertical line to a, to a two ball end. Right there. And you can see 15 is crossed. Right. Yes, perfectly. Yes. And then now to the five. Okay. And the five is also ready. You know, five, three, two has crossed. Yes, the five. Yes. And then to the one. Okay, I'm going to. Uh... Uh, I don't know if I have enough data. Yes. It sure, it's today. It's ah, it's today, yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. So now time your trade with the old system. Okay, so we have an entry right here. Yeah, that's yeah. your first entry. Where's your second entry? Our second entry will be in here. Right there. Third. Okay, no. Uh, I, yeah, one yeah. more. One more to the right. One more to the right. There you go. Okay. And okay, now go to the 15. No, no, you just okay. take three. I'm showing you what I do, right? So just okay, take, okay, okay. Perfect. So, so go, to, go to the 15. Okay. And your uh, blue line or whatever that is, uh, that's your 63 two, right? Uh, this is the 63 two, yes. The, the... Yeah, so it's uh, sloping down, so you're good, right? Yes, it's a sloping down, so it's heading. Uh, you still don't have an exit. Right. Okay, but if you take it from that black ball, and just draw a horizontal line there, yeah. Wow. Just, just draw a horizontal. Here? No, no, at the bottom. the bottom. Just do it at the. Uh, okay. No, draw the line at the round number, round the dotted number. line. Here. No, no, above, above it. Here? Yeah, right there. Okay. D25. Now go back to your one or your one, one minute chart. Okay. And uh, start counting your your yes. uh, pips. So from there to the first one is two two lots. Yeah, right? so no, you don't need to go to the end. You have your yes, first one. Right. So so we have this line here. Yeah. Uh, Amy. To so the we first have one. One. How many pips is that? One hundred and ten pips. With the first one times two. One hundred and twenty. Uh, so at times three, so that's 120 480. and another one. No, 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 no,
Okay, a reason for that, uh, Rajiv, that you are um, um, downsizing your lot size. You, so your first um, entry is the the strongest one, or yeah. or you have okay, okay. That's I'm trying. I, I do ten lots of minimizing my risk by distributing it over multiple trades. Perfect. Okay. So uh, I do an inverse pyramid uh, okay. with the largest lot size first to maximize the trade, and That's then the add-ons are lower risk with that's perfect i mean that's it's a higher risk with lower lots right right wow very impressive very impressive yeah. so i i was just um, telling to the guys that they need and i need to know what kind of trader we are so for the moment i think um a 11 pips uh, guy mm -hmm. a day Or oh, if we do that or oh, every day, 22 days. Yeah, uh, but with this system, you don't have to restrict yourself to level pips. Right. So uh, uh, much undo more. that. Undo that. M much more. Do an undo. Undo? Yeah. Okay. This is Google. This is Google? No, this is uh, Excel. Excel. OK, so if you're going to copy, highlight where you want to go, all, all the cells you want to copy to. Here. No, no, no. I ah, like, 22. I like that column E all yes, the way right. where you want to copy the level to. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, like this? Okay. No, no, not like that. Not like that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just highlight it. So okay. Do a copy first. Do a control C. Okay. And, and then, then highlight. Okay. And go yeah. to. Uh, uh, oh. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what I do. Okay, go here. Yeah. And, and then. then uh, Go, uh, pull down the paste. Here? Yeah, and then uh, values, yes. Okay. There you go. Perfect. So that gives you 261 at the end of the month. Yeah. So in 100,000, so it's like $17,000. Okay, so I just made 1,000 pips in one day. Wow. 1,000. As, as I showed you, I made 1,000 pips. Yes. One thousand. So one thousand. So one thousand. Yeah. How does that blow your mind? You on a hundred thousand dollar account, you already made hundred and two. Yes. One hundred and whatever. Well, Ninety-two. You see that, Amy? <laughs> How fantastic is this? <laughs> so for the moment, I'm eleven guy. Uh, uh, I'm eleven pips guy. So uh, thanks to Rajiv and Santiago that they are helping us, us a lot. I expect to increase a double or triple uh, to this. Okay, or, now, uh, hang on, hang on. Before you go any further, go okay. back to your script. <laughs> okay. How many lots are you trading? Uh, actually, I'm trading 0 0.65%. Okay, make it so 0.65, make it 0 0.1. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's still $14,000, okay? Yes. The point is that you can lower your risk. Yes. The right. system, because you're going to get, you know, anywhere between, uh, uh, if you trade the way I do, you're probably going to get between 100 to 1,000 like you just got, okay? That's perfect. Wow. So if you just do 100 pips, just do 100 pips instead of 1,000. Okay, 100 pips. And, and then copy that. Yeah, you are at 2,000 at the end of the month. And you are 26,000. With very small risk. So yeah. you so increase by, you, 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 you divide by five times your risk, yeah. and that's much, more. So I like you were trading 0.65. Yes. I'm saying trade 0.1, but you trade 10 lots. Exactly. And, uh, and uh, you still maximize your trade. Right. Exactly. Yeah. How, how do you manage the risk for a percentage by 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 multi entry? Well, if you're doing if you're doing 0.65 and your your lot size was, uh, I mean you're you're trading what uh, 650 dollars, right, per trade, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Uh, that translates to based on what your margin is. My margin is 450 dollars, so that would translate to what a Lot and a half, something like that. Yes. So right? for, yes. So so you, each 
each uh, uh, trade that I take would be 0.15, because 0.15 times 10 is 1.5. So the first trade would be 0.75, the second trade would be 0.45, third one would be 0.3. Okay. Okay. But yeah. it's individual 0.15 trades. I don't lump it into one. But you can, uh, you you have a a lot of um, risk calculation in the internet. Okay, so okay. I have this calculation uh, or this panel we call it like this that uh, just doing what he said. So I'm, I'm right, going to right, but that's only... based on stop loss. Exactly, mine is not based on stop loss. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. We are already minimizing our stop loss because we are doing five to ten pips stop loss. Right. right? Right. So that's why I don't use this because this forces me in a different direction. Right. Right. And I want to control my risk on my own, not have to worry about. I mean, you can yeah. use it. There's no question about it. I'm just saying the way I do it, it's just mentally I'm used to doing it that way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the way I use, uh, use it, once I calculate my 0, 0.10% or 0, 60%, I'm going to trade that day the same value of pips, no matter what. If I lost, yeah, yeah. if I win. The lot size doesn't change. Yes. The and second, this tomorrow I'm going to recalc before come to the market. I'm going to recalculate my new zero ten percent or wherever, and I'm going to play wherever. So you see here, increase a little bit the 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 lot size yeah. by twenty by twenty cents here by fifty cents one dollar and so. And yeah, so on. that's okay. I mean, I'm saying the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't compound during the day. Uh, I mean, after I'm done with a thousand bits, I'm not trading anyway. But right. uh, I, I compound on a daily basis, not on a trade by trade basis. So what you're saying and what I'm saying is basically the same thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. So do you have many ideas to uh, know how to uh, calculate your risk? and you know, over trade and try to be very in tune with the market with this uh, estostatic because she doesn't have any access for the moment to yeah. to platform in pc so she's trading from he, her uh, smartphone okay. so so but she's doing great <laughs> she shows <laughs> some results and she's doing does, very does good. that sound crazy <laughs> <laughs> so the only only my smartphone. <laughs> well, you can have uh, all the indicators below on the smartphone. It's the top one that you want to have. Which yes, but expect uh, except that the indicator on smartphone normally they they limit you to only the main uh, main page and and only one indicator. No matter how many indicators you add, it will be showing in the same uh, same window. So you're limited to two windows. So better I, I use like only um, like one to two oscillators or, or, or three, not not too much or, or else I won't see anything. Uh, uh, what platform are you using? You're, you're obviously not using MT4, so which one are you using? Uh, I'm using actually uh, currently the, the MT5. MT5 only allows you two windows? Yeah, they, they limit me to, to two windows and uh, um, like uh, if, if I use MACD and 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 the, 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 the um, this, how should I call it, the, the, the stock, the stock oscillators, um, they, they, they put all those uh, in, in, the one window. In, in the one window. And that's plus strange the, the that main MT5 window. would go, uh, take away functionality from MT4. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> Reggie, so, uh, let me. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, keep going. On on MT MT four is it is better? Yeah, I can see all of these. I can put as many as I want. Okay, okay. I'll try to see at least the room. maybe if I I I said both both I said in both system both application I I will see I will have more data. Okay. You can actually have MT4 for your analysis and maybe MT5 for your entry, so you can do whatever you want. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's, that's it. I want to show you, Rajiv, uh, before we close the session, any a free indicator 
um, that is called uh, um, what is it? Where are you? Market, yeah. Uh, here is the multi oscillator divergent free. Okay, so I'm going to take off the 532 here. Okay, and I'm going to drop this free indicator that you have to uh, download it from the market. And I'm going to set this to static. You can mm -hmm. see any uh, oscillator you want. So, and then I'm going to set it to five, two, no, three, two. Three, two. Yeah, three, two, close. <clears throat> And that's it. And then I'm going to set it. Uh, I don't remember which color I use, but let's say that uh, magenta a little bigger than this. Okay. And you have again your so static, but you have oh, for the I, hidden and converted. You don't need it. Really, because actually we were looking that they <laughs> they um, hit. A very good point. I don't know if you have some thoughts about it because here I have an entry to the downside here. Here, it's still noisy, right? I it's, mean, indeed, you have the boss uh, yes. directing you as far as yes. the market structure is concerned. Yes. So you really don't need the divergence. It's too noisy. I, I'm agree with you. Actually, was telling to the guys that maybe I'm not going to even with the normal static not to use it in the one minute because. Yeah. When you go to the one minute, it's crazy. Well, yeah, it's just not too noisy. Uh, it's too noisy. It's what, what it's, yeah. Here it's up and down, up and down. So you can <laughs> easily lost uh, focus. But yeah. at least in the 15 and maybe the 5 or the 60 to see if I exit or, or not, if I'm a short term trade. So let's say uh -huh. I enter here and I exit here, for example. And now you see pound dollar is going to the up territory. So this is a confirmation. So go to the 15. So you can now exit at that point uh, because the, the 15 minute chart and like this. So maybe the 15 minute and the five minute is enough. The one minute don't try to use it. Uh, yeah. oh. I'll ask you a very simple question. What are you trying to do? No, no, no. I, I, actually, this morning, Renata was uh, in my entry uh, that I said she realized that was diversion. And I remember about this. Uh, this. Uh, no, no. Uh, On your exits, what are you trying to do? Oh, for the moment, nothing. I don't know what to do. <laughs> for the moment, I'm trying okay. to, to make it, five it, pips and, and that's it. What would you and, normally and do and for learn. your exits? Uh, for the moment, um, uh, not for the SD, moment. SD, what in your past in few in years? My, yes, when you in, in my, how, how have you exited? My exit was when uh, I have changed color in the in the one hour. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's and the one hour is too noisy now, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's a plan, right? We can yes. always re-enter the right. trade. Right. Yes, and now, that is my plan. So yeah. okay. So where the one hour change colors? Uh, you're changing too fast. Okay, sorry. Where the one hour change colors? Draw a vertical there. Here. Oh, go go back to the previous time you change colors. Here. Keep going. Here. Right there. Yes. Okay. That if you're taking the trade in the Asian session, you're saying that's your exit. Right. 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 Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Look at what the price action is telling you. The price action telling you that it's still going down. It's still going making lower lows. Yes. Why would you enter? My enter would be. You enter the red ball. Just go back to the 15. Don't worry about this. Okay. Yes. You enter the red ball. Right here. Right there, right? Yes. Or maybe here because. Have... Okay. Okay. 
and and your one hour change. I mean, I wouldn't enter there. You're in the middle of a swing anyway. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, and then uh, you keep making lower lows, regardless of what the one hour is doing, right? Right. And uh, so that one hour change of color, I'm just telling you that uh, that wasn't an exit. Okay. Yeah. Here, when I change color, for example, here we have that's not an exit. Yeah, that's an exit. But well, you didn't have the stochastic before, so don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah, okay. Right. That's so on the H1 on, on the 15 minute, you're still following the four hour trend, which is the H3. What is the H3 telling you? That is still going down, the momentum. Yeah. So why are you getting up? Right. So have you gotten your yellow ball yet? Three no. ball? No. So you stay with it till you get a three ball. Right. Then once you get a three ball and the one hour changes color, right? Then you get out. Okay. You don't get out in the middle of the swing. Right? Yes. If you got a black ball right now at the right side. Right. Right? Correct. And that was like four bars to the left. And there was a black ball. So one and the one hour change over there, that's your exit. Slide it. Right there. That was yeah. it. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. With the black ball and the yes. The black ball was there, so you you right. you exit. Right. Because so your momentum is changing on the one hour at that point. Exactly. So I have one hundred forty pips. Yeah. Good. Wow. So the you were you were just. Uh, uh, taking an exit or really understanding why you were taking an exit. Right. You were basing it on the indicator, but not on the price action. No. Because the price action is king. Right. Your swing hasn't finished yet. Your three ball swing has not finished yet. Mm. So this system allows you go for, to go from yellow ball to yellow ball. You could have gone from the US session yesterday, taken yes. an entry, and stayed with it all the way down to the yellow ball today. Okay. This is the yellow ball. Uh, yeah. In. So you could have taken an exit entry there somewhere. Yeah. Right there. That's your entry. Yes. And stay till the where your red line is right now. How many pips is that? 300, 300 pips. Yeah. So you could break this trade into two trades. You know, you get out at the yeah. end of the day. 150 and somewhere. then you take the 100 pip today so that's you lose 50 pips but you made two trades for right. 250 pips yeah right that's the whole idea of this okay. you know the, yes the balls are to guide you to give you the major swings on the price action mm -hmm. okay the indicators that tell you when to enter in that direction Right. So stochastic just times it for you. Yes. Yes. Um, very exciting, uh, Rajiv. Thank you very much. I, yeah. I, I, I feel blessed. <laughs> I mean, uh, really. So, uh, Satya has been using the, the stochastic and he's been asking me to look at it for a while. And just, I said, I, I have my system. I don't want to change. I don't want to change. And yeah. Finally, it took me about two weeks ago <laughs> to put it on and then really look at it because uh, it's been two weeks of analysis before we presented it to you guys. I wasn't actually trading it. I was actually just analyzing it. And then I said, yeah, that makes sense. You know, uh, use a 63.2 as your trend, which confirms your your Osmos and gives you an early entry uh, from the MACD line at the top. So I said, OK, that's fine. You know, this way you don't have to pay attention to the the candle color as much because you're getting multiple confirmations on your trend. Right. So that was the thought process behind that. Now you know really uh, your entry uh, time frames, the M1 and the M5, are the only ones that have to have the multiple osmos. You can uh, get away with the H3 and H8 on 15 minutes and all the way to four hours. Mm. Because that's basically your trend. 
at that point. But I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying you could do that. Dr. Ed, you took uh, I don't hear you, Father. Can you speak louder, please? Uh, Dr. Ed, you took yesterday or today. Uh, so you already planned it uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because, I saw mm. if I was trading the agent session, I saw a two ball retrace. I'm, yeah. I'm itching to get in. And you talking about two ball retrace on four hour? No, on the 15 minute. Okay. I already know the four hours going down. Oh, uh, yeah, OK. Let me just come up. On the four hour, on, all I'm looking for is direction. Yeah. Absolutely, Fatu. Look, this is the four hour pound yen yesterday. Yeah. So everything was lining up. We go short. So I drop it to the 15 minute. So that was even okay. That was even before. Here. That was yesterday. But yeah. today, what he's asking is today. Ah, okay. So today in the, it was in the middle of a retrace, two ball retrace, right? Where the four hour line was. Yeah. Yes. So you let the two ball retrace finish, mm. and then take your entry on the file on the one minute. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, uh, then you. I think like uh, if you take this trade and you just focus to you get. A, a, a cycle of this uh, yellow ball or whatever it is, then you, you go, after that, you, you start to look for other pairs. No, I mean, you can do multiple, right? I mean, you can mark out your four hour trend on, on whatever pairs you're trading. Yeah, okay. And see which one is setting up and then go from there. Yeah. So you have a four hour three ball, which is a large three ball at the top, right? Mm -hmm. So you already know your four hour direction is, is sub, is sell. And now you're just matching that direction on the 15 minute. Every time you get a retrace, you're taking an entry. The stochastic just points out when the retrace is happening. When it goes above the 15, it comes back down, that's a retrace. Every time it does that, you use basically a retrace. Mm. As long as that 60, you know, is either going down or is below the 20. Right. When it goes above the 20, then your direction is changing. So you probably now, see a four hour yeah. crossover at uh, the next, uh, you know, at 9, 9 a.m. my time, you'll see the four hour crossover of that. Mm. 15 minutes starts to uh, continues to rise. Good morning, Costa. How are you? That makes sense what I said? Yes, a lot of sense. So now you are totally reliant on, on the balls themselves. So right now, you will look at this and say, I have a one ball and a red H10, there's no trade. But there's no planning attached to that. The plan attached to that is when the four hour cross is over uh, on the stochastic, the 532, you now have a buy trend. Right? So on the four hour, you're looking at every four hour to look at your directions. So it makes it simpler. You at least have four hours in that direction or more. In this case, it was 12 hours. So you're in no rush to really. Click the finger to take a train. You can take a step back, exhale, Stop. plan your trade, not worry about uh, uh, an, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, an entry that you missed because you're going to get another entry. You have 12 hours to get your entries. You know your direction. That makes sense. 
Anybody? Does it make sense? Did I lose you all? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be the only to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> so look at gold, for example, right? Let's, let's do the same and ask some gold. And, uh, what? Uh, uh, Sorry. Hello. Okay, gold now. You take me through this uh, profile. Yes. For the four hour. Okay. So okay. we have a three board. Okay. Uh, just take uh, like on the current swing. Where would you have uh, marked your four hour as your swing? Uh, right here. Okay. You know, funny enough, you know, there's uh, coinciding with a two ball swing ending. Huh? Mm. Okay. 15 was yesterday in that level. Then... So you had a four hour uh, four hour swing yesterday. What would you do today? Looking for short. No. Go back to your 15. Yes. How would you plan your trade today? So my plan today was looking at the sink of everything. And I, I saw the 15 one hour and 15 one hour below the 20s. So, and okay. the end of cell territory. From so there. The first, first thing you would look at on the 15. Mm -hmm. Go back to the 15. Wait, only to drop my. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, 15. Is a retracement, right? So, either one ball or two ball retracement. One two ball retracement, yes. So that gives you your price structure. Right. So okay. here. So move yeah. your red line to where you think uh, to start looking at your indicators. No, red line. Your vertical right. line. Okay, sorry. Go to the red ball. Retracement. Go back. Uh, right there. Right here, yeah. Put it up the red ball. Here, okay. One more. We're trying to time it instead of right there. So now, now you're looking at the stochastic and you're saying, okay, it's doing a swing down. Uh, and the 60 is below the, the 20. Okay, now I drop it to the 5. Five, you move it a couple of bars to the right where the swing starts. Right, right there. Yes. That's not your your entry because your your sixty three two is above the twenty, right? Right. And it's uh, starting to slope down, but really, it's iffy. So you move it to the one. Let's say this is the this is the place we want to enter. Let's look at the one minute. See what it's doing. That the one okay. There you go. So one minute already gave you an entry. Right here. Right. Okay. Draw your yes. horizontal at your entry. Where's your second entry? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There. Keep going. Ah, uh, with no. this static right. here. No. Right there. Yeah. Draw your horizontal there. Where's the third entry? I'm going only to show the guys if they are following or not. Okay, my nice. entry. Yeah. Right there. Now. This one, uh, the M15 is not ready, okay? Yeah. So this is not an entry. Okay, yeah, because it's not ready here. Yeah. Okay, so next entry. Where does it lie now? Ah. Right there, yeah? Let's say your third entry. Or is it your fourth? And everything here. That's the third entry, right? Yes. Okay. Only for 
illustrate to Amy. Everything is sinking, you see? Yeah. Well, you need to only worry about till the H1 sync on the one side, right? You don't right. need to worry about anything else. But uh, you draw three horizontal lines. Now let's, let's go to 15. Okay. And uh, your 63 two is okay. There's your yellow ball. Uh, take your uh, how many pitches is that? 131. 131. 131 times two is 260. Yeah, and one, 150. Uh, the second one, how many? 150. 150, yes. So 260 plus 450 is 710. And 170. And 850. Yeah. That's 59 and 60 bits. <laughs> Great. Now, this and is pips heavy, but at uh, 0.15, you can do your numbers, right? Yes. 156 times 1.5 times 10, and you can do the numbers. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Well, we don't trade the Asian, but let's say here, how I could manage this trade, for example, here. Yeah, I mean, you can take more entries if you want. But yeah, so let's. Well, those are not right. entries, we didn't cross the 50, so. Yeah, here, actually, I wish saw this cross in the five minutes, so uh -huh. I enter a little early, mm -hmm. right here, and I should state all this, and, and this is right. something that I should still in this trade for the moment. Right. And this is uh, 75 pips. Yeah. Uh, only with this trade. With and you have two, two, two more yeah. entries. So and, and you have one more entry here. Yeah. Well, there was one before that, but yeah. Here you say here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to mark it here. Here. Keep going. You Keep you don't going. like you don't like no. this one. Yeah. I like my percent K to draw. Yeah, right there. And even if you is not lining up the thirty because the one hour is is well, I would like to line up, so that's not an entry. Right? Okay, because okay. okay. Not so let's be pure in this. So this is not entry. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, one more. Um, keep going. No, I, I I don't think so. That's right. Oh no no, go to your right. One, okay. yeah, right there. No, it's not. Go to your left. One. It's not lined left. up. Okay. So right. there's no more entry. Right. So, but this from this is already a uh, seventy-five, another seventy, and seventy-seven. Okay, so, so seventy-five average, ten lots. Yeah. That's seven. Uh, 750 pips. Right. Wow. Times 0.15. Sign time for point one dollar, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah 0.15. One, 200, 200, uh, 226 times 1.5. No, no. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 what did he do? Yeah. No, bring your calculator back. The tax will let it do. Do 75, uh, 750. 750. Okay. Uh, oh, whatever. Oh, 50. Okay, 250. Okay. 750 times 0. 0.15 Seven. is 25. That's what it was. I don't understand. <laughs> 750 ah, times 750 0.15. Times 0. 0.15. Wow. Wow. Divide by 10. Not 10. Okay. Yeah. Divide by 10 is, uh, uh, yeah. okay. One, one comma five is 1.5. Is that, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I lost you. I lost you. Sorry. Yeah, no, no. Cancel everything. Okay, 
bring your calculator back. Come on. Okay. <laughs> uh, 750 pips. 750 pips. Multiplied by 0. 0.15. 0. 0.15. Like this. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's 112.5 on one lot, right? How much is one lot worth in uh, in gold? Uh, one dollar. One dollar. It's only worth one dollar. Uh, one lot size is one. It's ten dollars. Sorry, it's ten dollars. Okay, so times ten. Times ten. Oh, okay. Times ten. That's how you made. How much you made? One thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars. That's great. This is very small risk in my session in the European session. Yeah. Perfect. And depending on what your daily goal is, blah, 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 you know. Right, right, right. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Rajiv. The pound yen, if you go back, the four hours turning over. Pound yen. Yeah. So we have the con here. Four hour. Look at the four hour. Ah, sorry. Four hours started starting to cross. Yes. Here. No, no. At the ah, bottom. Okay. So okay. it's giving you a bullish yes. setup. Okay. This is your you bullish. Your H10 is not ready. So from here, you are going to start looking for long? Uh, not, a, not yet, but you know, yet. Okay. another okay. four hours. Yeah. Is my, my thinking right enough to say that we are in the buy territory because we are above yes. the 50 yes. and this is the ice cream cone that is uh, uh, heading up and, one, and once this H10 changed color to blue we start looking for some bias because also we have a four ball a blue ball here right. okay okay uh, you're not timing it no, along right. with the h10 right the h10 right. may turn blue no. but your stochastic may not have crossed over okay so you avoid some of the ups and downs you've been experiencing in the past okay okay but you gotta wait till the four hour bar is done. Okay. You don't get in, in, in between. And that's the patient's part. Yes. But after I think the 300 pips that you made, I think you can have patience. <laughs> no, but you're done. Uh, you're not trading anymore. Perfect. Come back the next day and take, take a look. Good words doing. Right. Okay. Costa is, is showing some something let's show it okay great pound yen you just made a long trade yeah it's a long so we have this the c ball here or the yeah. three ball and he took it right there this must be the one no i don't know which time frame it's one minute yeah, that's great congratulations perfect costa uh, you took it uh, as a counter trend trade because the um, four hour wasn't ready. Okay. Okay. So it's an aggressive trade, is what I'm saying. Right. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just aggressive. Mm. Yeah, it's aggressive. What is it about pound yen? Right? Yeah. So the four hour wasn't ready. It's in the middle of its uh, bar formation. It's getting ready, but it's not there yet. If you start playing around with in between the bars for your trend, then you, you're going to get hurt. But if you looked at the one hour, one hour was ready a couple of bars ago on the stochastic. One more, yeah, no, that bar. Yeah. And you can, uh, bless you, you can drop it down to the one minute. 15 minutes, 30, one minute. And then you take entries from there. So this was a one hour trade, not a four hour trade. 
So you you have an entry here. Yeah. Okay, you have another entry here. Mm -hmm. So it's lining here and here. Right. Up. And uh, maybe here. Up. Okay, and another entry. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. This is not lining up. Right there. Actually, it's lining up very well here yeah. also. So, how many pips is that from where you are right now? So, we have 40 pips, another 45, 45. And no, that's all right. The first one, ah, right. uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, so 42 times 10, 420. Wow, uh, you see, in this space of time, times 0.15 would be like 67, that's 670 dollars. Perfect. I hope so. A 0.1 percent risk, please. Yeah, yeah. So you allowed five percent a day on your prop. Account yes. Never get there. Never, never. See, absolutely, I'm doing this challenge. Uh, let me show you. And for the moment, you see my drawdown. Mm -hmm. It's only one fifty-four dollar. Yeah. Now one hundred because the yeah. system is great. I don't have uh, nothing of the drawdown. I'm allowed to five thousand. Yeah. And, uh, well, with the tight stop losses we take, mm. plus with this timing now, yeah. If we do the inverse pyramid, which is a five three two, right, at a point one percent, you'll never be taken out. Never, never, never. Oh, two thousand twenty two is going to be a great day, a great <laughs> year. Huh? Yeah, Got to be patient. <laughs> yes. Be trigger happy. Yeah. I'm going to drop this one too so you can uh, help to analyze. Mm. Right. Uh, Just tell us which pair it is. Um, pound yen. Took a second trade on pound yen? I? No. I, uh, uh, I don't know. It's Costa. I don't know. Maybe he's studying. Ah, Fatu is. Okay, I'm going to show you. That's. Beautiful, Fatu, Fatu, Fatu. I love it. Look, Fatu, how he's doing. So 108 pips on three trades. Great, Fatu, great, great. There's no need to analyze it, just went through it, right? So. Perfect. Nice work, nice job, Fatu. Wow, was a, an excellent uh, session, guys. But I have to go. <laughs> I, I I register so for Costa that maybe he cannot. Uh, yes. Wait more. Ah, okay. Uh, it's, this session is registered when Rajiv start to make intelligent statement. Not when I'm I'm talking. So <laughs> I advise you to. To, to 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 watch the video maybe rajiv you can uh, take it to your youtube channel because i ha i think you have found point down many ex excellent statement that helps to the group i yeah, just uh, put the video out there oh, and i put it up perfect okay guys thank you all right very much. have a good one thank you yeah. have a good one see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is a uh, no farm tomorrow's uh, nfp yes exactly amy it's a big yeah. day yes yeah okay all right take it easy okay. take, take it easy thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye.